There comes a brush of a breeze floating up against you, nuzzling itself up against your cheek and through your hair. It sings and dances its way around your head, bouncing from here to there, there to here. For this is a portal of light, of destination, of rebirth and renewal. It is an in-between time, that place where you are straddled in the air, jumping from one step to the other, legs outstretched, time stops, it holds you, extended, far up, free, able, worthy, before landing with a thud, thud, on the other side. Know that in these times there will be dance and melody. There will be loud sounds and quiet sounds, for the ground is cracking further. Yes, yes, it is breaking apart. Storms and sand and billowing rain pour down around, washing away, washing away old remnants that are still here, yet do not belong here anymore. No, you cannot recognize the landscape around you, for it is changing, changing. And at times you feel as if your heart will drop to the ground with all of the change that is taking place as you try to steady yourself, as you try to gain your footing. Yet it is this footing, this footing, oh yes, this footing that we have been talking about for so long. For the ground will reverberate and shake as more must fall. Have you noticed that certain things disappear within the news? Have you felt the change of the wind? Have you come into contact with the intensity that is rising, rising, rising? Rising at a steady beat to grab itself around you and oh so many others to tilt the world, to shift from season to foe to outstretch itself from one tree to another. There are fires and rain, pelts upon sunflowers, the animals they fall, yet more will rise, more in their place, new, new, Why is it that the people who walk upon your earth, the scientists believe that they have discovered all of the animals? Have they not yet considered that these new species that they believe to be so old have not just now come into fruition? For so many things are taking place on your planet that you are unaware of. Newness is being birthed in the darkest corners, deep into the forest, deep within the skin and blood of humans. There is so much that takes place at this time. Yes, yes, so much. The billowing and the aching. Yes, we know you will raise your hands up, asking for relief, asking for understanding and clarity, 
knowledge about what it is that is taking place upon the planet at this time, but we have spoken about this at length. What is most important to know in the coming month is that the fires will rage and burn all around you. Yes, yes, so too will they engulf you from within, for there are things here that can no longer be. No longer be pushed or stored away. No longer be hidden. You will come face to face with them as if looking in a mirror. Whether you are looking at yourself or at yourself through the eyes of someone else, Know that the people around you at this time have lessons and gifts for you. Yes, yes, for even the most painful lessons carry gifts. If you so choose to see what is hidden within the depth of them. Karma, karma, karma is releasing herself from the planet. As earth begins to shake loose, that which has held her still for so long, she is waking, waking to her newness, waking to her choice and selection, to her understanding that you need not be here if she does not will it to be so. Humans have not yet come to understand how frail this relationship is between their lives and Earth, or how much Earth is in full and complete control of that which walks upon her. This month will bring more of that truth and understanding, the unveiling of what is within and what is below. For you all have made many decisions that now have consequences that must be paid. Not because anyone is being disciplined or out of vindication, but simply because this is the way things work. For every action, there is a reaction. Do not forget this wisdom when dealing with loved ones, co-workers, strangers upon the street. Dig deep and find the will within yourself to smile, to say thank you, to offer a helping hand. The time is at hand. The time is coming when you will no longer be able to look away. Yes, yes, this will take some time, but with Pluto's forward movement, this is the next evolution that you are stepping into. A total and complete connection with one another. But in this, you must retain your sovereignty. You must look within yourself for what is aligned and that which is not. You must first ask yourself the question before simply following along. And you must use your discernment. These things are only beginning to take off. But this straddling in the air, this mid-step, this place of caught and stuck, you will be here for some time. As there are big movements taking place beneath you. So that when you land, it will feel very different. Continue to take your time Do not run through your days. Listen to your body when it is tired and give it rest. 
Do not allow the voices in your head to make you feel bad for this, for we know that it has been deeply ingrained in your cultures, in your thinking, that you must go, 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 and do, do, do. But that is not the way of the world. As you see, Mother Earth takes her time to enact change. Yes, of course, there is quickness here and there, but that is simply in the cleansing processes. You too do the same. This would be a beautiful time to begin noticing how the changes that are taking place on this earth the most subtlest of them all are also taking place within your body, where you reside, where you are in this moment. Notice the two make correlations. Do not allow yourself to get caught up in what everyone else is saying. Build your own world one that invites others in, but on your own terms. And do not feel bad for this, for what is most important at this time is that you take care of you. Your energy, your body, your heart, your mind, your voice. Tend to it with care. And do not forget to ask for help when it is needed. For help is always here, holding you up in that straddled position. <laughs>